Hey, welcome to another radio video, and uh, this is a little video to uh, for the scanner buffs out there that like to uh, listen to aircrafts, airplanes in the. Uh, if you like to have uh, and listen to airplanes coming through and you're wondering where to get the information about airplanes this is a video showing you a little app for the um, iPhone and iPad also available for Android and also if uh, you want to use your computer next to your scanner this is a great website also that I'm going to show you uh, here in Montreal we have a big big airport it's one of the big airports in North America and there's lots and lots of air traffic around town and actually where I live is a great great spot because one of the major corridors where the planes go to land in the airport is actually visible from my kitchen window where my icon is so I can actually see the planes pass by the same planes that I'm hearing on my radio so here for Montreal 119.9 is the tower frequency of uh, Montreal International Airport if you're a plane buff one great website that you can actually use that's quite cool and lets you see the planes live and by the way I'm going to show you an example of what I'm saying if we look outside there's one right now and then here we go I'm trying to uh, here we go so this is one of the planes going to the airport and I see these planes fly every day and you know they pass by this window in my kitchen I'm going to the airport so this gives you an idea of what it looks like over here watching airplanes now one of the great places to go if you are a plane buff is this nice website it's called flightradar24.com and if you look at this website it actually shows you the map of your area and on the map you see almost live the planes that are coming for example this is the island of Montreal where I live and you see the planes they're there on the map and they're moving in pretty much real time two types of planes on this map uh, the bright yellow ones are pretty much real time on their position the orange ones are from the FAA um, information data so they're up to five minutes late sometimes on the map that can cause problems when you're trying to spot planes but it's not too bad so this is a great great website just go and watch this uh, site while you're uh, scanning for your airplanes www.flightradar24.com uh, and uh, they're gonna find your position and show it on the map and of course you can uh, zoom in or out of the map so uh, for example I can really zoom out here and show you here we go we're farther away and it shows you the plane around Montreal it is limited to areas that are well deserved and here after a while you see all the planes throughout the eastern part of North America it's just incredible to see all the planes and these are all live airplanes on the air when you identify a plane also what's cool here is they have the information of all the planes so for example if I go 
to the island of Montreal once again and check for a plane when I put my mouse pointer on the plane it actually gives me the information of the plane itself so here you see the plane if I go on this one Air Canada 831 this one Air Canada 1102 so what's cool is that you identify on the map the planes that you hear because they always identify with their uh, number so this is a great website to go through I uh, really 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 think you should uh, go to flightradar24.com especially if you like listening to airplanes for those of you who don't know what the frequencies of planes are they're all in between 108 and 136 megahertz uh, these are this is the air band this is where you'll hear all the planes now if you've got a iPad, iPhone or uh, Android tablet or phone great another great app that you can add but this one was like $4.99 and it's called Flight Radar and it's the app that goes with the set the website that you actually see here and it gives you the same map I'm going to show you here same map on my iPhone but what's even more amazing with this and I don't know if I can demonstrate it but if a plane is in the, in the, in the air on the, in the sky and you want to ID it there's that little AR in the bottom when you take that it brings you to your iPhone's camera and what it's gonna do is actually when you point towards an airplane I'm gonna try to find something that I can there we go um, sorry here I'm gonna move the camera quite a lot because it's uh, going to be better to show so when you're pointing towards an airplane you actually get these little boxes that show you the types of planes so if you are in the middle of nowhere and want to ID a plane all you have to do is move your camera around and point towards the plane that you're seeing in the sky and it's gonna actually tell you which one it is which is very neat of course you need to have a working internet connection so um, if you're not near Wi-Fi it's gonna take data off your uh, phone so be careful for that but it's just amazing what you can do and these are great apps and a great website flight radar 24 now if you want to improve the delays and the number of planes on the flightradar24.com you can subscribe and they have like a monthly uh, like it's like by a month three months six months and one month uh, one year subscription and that will improve actually what they say is that it improves the real-time data of the uh, airplanes so uh, hope that you enjoy this video if you like listening to airplanes I think uh, even if you don't pay for nothing just the flightradar24.com website is just incredible uh, one word of caution it uh, times out after a certain time so uh, like if you leave it there for maybe um, 20 minutes or half an hour you'll see that it times out all you have to do is just go back to the website uh, and it's gonna come back uh, probably they just don't want to have too many hogs that just leave their uh, computer there and uh, aren't actually watching the planes so uh, great information if you like airplanes hope that uh, it helps you out the app for iPhone and for Android devices or iPad is called Flight Radar. I've paid four dollars and ninety-nine cents for the app, uh, but I think it's worth four ninety-nine because uh, just the fact that you can point your camera and it's going to ID the plane is just amazing. You can amaze your friends with that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you a little bit audio of the planes here.